Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to readdress this question about no more Debs in Ubuntu. Uh, because the software store has come out in the beta tests, now this is not yet completely released, and in full disclosure, I have not yet downloaded the, is it beta or is it nightly? I forget which one it is of the 2310 that's out. I will eventually look at it. I might look at it after it's released. I might look at it when it's closer to being released. But there has been this, uh, this question about will Debs be in the software manager has resurfaced because there is an article with the, uh, the updated um, uh, build here inside of the Ubuntu 2310, and this is in the daily builds. And uh, I will note that the article author is Joey Sneddon, uh, who also is the article author of a, another video or, uh, or another article that we have previously chatted about. And that was the article when this first came out, uh, which was in July, note the same author here, and what that article said is that Ubuntu's 2310 new software app will demote Debs, parentheses, apparently. Now, I did the video looking at this, and one of the things that you could do is you could install the new Flutter-based Snap Store if you installed it from the Alpha channel. So in this video, I went ahead and I did that. And when I did that, I showed that the new Snap Store did actually have the Debs in there. But there is a difference between I've installed Ubuntu, it's a functioning system, now I upgrade the Snap to the old version, uh, or to, to the brand new test development version, and now we're able to see both Snaps uh, and the repository software in there. That's a different thing than when the system is installed. And that was one of the criticisms that I made of my own video saying, I'm seeing a different thing than the article is suggesting, but it still begs the question, are they going to do this? Because this is then the direction they're going to. In fact, in that video, they talk about, you can also try this out, and this is the implementation on Ubuntu's immutable system. Uh, so this article is back from June. And in June, Canonical recently confirmed its launch of its all-snap Ubuntu desktop uh, image next year. So we are yet to see this one come out, but you can still play around with this one as beta. This is Ubuntu's Fourier into the immutable desktop system. And as every immutable system is doing things a little bit differently, what Ubuntu is doing, obviously, is they have an immutable core system and everything inside of this is based on snaps, which makes a lot of sense snaps and the immutable system, the immutability of it, the, the snaps and the flat packs and the app images give us the ability to have these well isolated systems where every application can be isolated from every other application. It does make a lot of sense. And for those looking to run an Ubuntu system with this ability of having uh, everything just kind of unified here with a single source, that being snap, it makes sense. But this new software store is already available in the uh, in the system here in the immutable Ubuntu. But what I wanted to focus on is going back and having a look at what is going on with the new store. Because as this was released, this is September 7th of this year, so just a couple weeks ago, 11 days ago from when I'm recording this video, Ubuntu's new app center has arrived in Ubuntu 2310 daily builds. No snap channel commands required to test it out. So he's referring to you could test it out in the old installs of Ubuntu by going into your snap and setting the alpha channel for the snap store. Now it is the default. The new front end for installing Snap and Deb packages is built using Flutter. This is what he wrote up here, and a number of people are commenting this out in the uh, in the comments here. And I did not read every comment because it turns into a massive, like, <laughs> there's a lot. But I did read about half of the comments. And a lot of the people are saying, yeah, they're demoting the Debs. And this author and everyone's saying, well, just read the article. In fact, that's shows up many times inside of this 
Um, I probably won't be able to find it on a very quick look, but if you have a look around, uh, reading is hard. I know. Don't be ashamed. This exact comment, probably this exact person has copy pasted this several different places inside of here. Um, talking about, um, the fact that, uh, uh, it's right up here in the article that says the new front end for Snap and Deb packages is built. They built this on Flutter. Um, and despite it being on uh, whatever. Okay, closer look at the new client uh, and what to learn about, what you can do. Just keep on reading. So here's the new Ubuntu Snap Center. The old software uh, slash Snap Store app was called during its tenure, was routinely criticized for poor performance. Uh, high memory usage and inconsistent behavior. Uh, App Center starts fresh. It's not a fork of the GNOME Software Center. While it's too early to say definitively that App Center avoids the aforementioned pain points, my own hands-on testing over the past few months is positive in these regards. And in fact, I even said when I looked at it in the uh, build that I had a look at it in earlier in the previous video, you can find that video linked down below if you haven't seen it, I really think it's a great improvement. Now, part of that is because I think you can only go up from the GNOME Software Center, other than the fact that it's it's reasonably competent and you can add the plugins to do snaps or flat packs in to the GNOME Software Center. I hate the GNOME Software Center. It is extraordinarily slow on every system. It is extraordinarily buggy. It is difficult to use. It is poorly organized. And then they made it worse with all these pithy organizations instead of logical organizations. I hate the GNOME Software Store. Okay, and the Snap Store was based on that. So, sure, you can only go up, but it went far up. I actually really thought that the new implementation of the Snap Store was really, really good. Assuming, of course, we can find all of the software we want. And that is the question we are yet to see. It does respond more faster. Uh, more faster. Wow. <laughs> Me can talk. <laughs> it does respond uh, faster. And uh, it certainly uses less RAM. Visually, the app is pleasant to look at. I completely agree with all of that. So there's a lot of screenshots in here that are showing it. And there are the caveats. He says the drawbacks, so I am uh, I am loath to linger on them too long, given the development that remains in flux. The big one is at the time I write this, there's no support for finding or installing repo slash deb software. Search for an app that is available as a deb in the repos, i.e. VLC, and you will find no option to install it, only the snap builds. So here is a picture of that, and they only have, if you look at the channel, they only have the snap builds for that particular software. The good news is this is likely only a temporary omission. There is a code pull request pending for the App Center, which sounds like it brings back the ability to install Deb and Repo software. So a lot of people are hanging, hinging on this thing. Oh, see, look, there's a, there's a, a pull code pull request to add this feature back in. And this is what everybody is banking on. And this is what the author of this article is banking on. Of course, there's other negatives, no flat pack because Ubuntu has already said, Hey, if you even want to be an official community flavor, you must drop flat pack support. So this is uh, the, the, the tyranny is starting to come out in Ubuntu. Um, but this author who also wrote this article has completely forgot that he have quoted from the actual developers down here from the Ubuntu's director of engineering saying the new hub will be a snap first app store designed around snap metadata. If the same piece of software exists in the Ubuntu repository and in the snap store, the new store will only make it possible to install the snap version. Quote, it is a non-goal to try to present Debs and Snaps as two options for the same app. Doing that is hard to get right and restricts design choices in other areas, he writes. Debs support will land later because resources are always tight. Finally, nothing here stops users from installing applications the old-fashioned way. So, in summary, if there is a Snap and a repository version of a similar app, like VLC in our example, and you go to the GUI option, you will not have the option, according to the developer of this, you will not have the option to install the repository version, only the snap version. Now, if you boot up the terminal and run a sudo apt install, you can install the repository version. Assuming, of course, they have not changed the app install 
to simply download the Snap version like they did with Firefox and Chromium, which is the impetus which caused Linux Mint to actively block Snap by default to make sure an app package does not covertly install Snap when you do not intend it. And then, of course, Linux Mint does provide instructions for re-enabling Snap should you want it. So their Linux Mint is giving us the definite choice. Ubuntu is definitely taking choice away. So to be clear, if it's some other obscure piece of software that is available in the Ubuntu repository, it sounds like the quote here from the engineer will say, if there is no, no snap available, of course you can install the repository version of the software inside of the snap GUI store. But if there is a snap and an Ubuntu version, you can only install the snap. And that is the big thing. So all of the people down here that are talking about it, I just don't know if anybody has actually picked that up in the original article or remembers that or recognized it because it sounds like people are either super pro, this is just like the old way where we can install anything in any version, or hey, this snap store doesn't install any repository version at all. And it does not sound like in the final iteration, either of those is correct. What sounds to me like is correct is the, the new snap store in the current daily builds does not yet have the deb build capability but that is what they are working on. But the reason I think they have not enabled that is because they have not yet figured out how to say, hey, if there is a snap package available, do not offer the repository version. I think that that is the last piece of information that we are seeing. So the new version of Ubuntu, yes, is going to start driving more snap support. And the reality is some people are saying, uh, in fact, one person wrote down in a comment here that uh, uh, he wrote here, Doorknob says, as a bit of an experiment, I recently switched all of the apps that I have on my PC from flat packs to snaps and using Ubuntu with no customizations to get a feel for how it might be for a casual new user. He writes, I must say, I can't notice a difference between the experiences anymore. They work very well now from launch speeds to sandboxing in the store. So that is true. And I'm not sure that the push against snap is necessarily performance based i think it more has to do with the fact that its distribution method is proprietary and snapcraft has chosen not to audit the software but instead to trust the developer and then have a wild wild west of stuff in there to make the store look bigger which is exactly what has happened as i have documented many times and the fact that they want to place trust on the people who package the software like facebook and microsoft is not a comfort for about 50 percent of the linux users as I said it before, I will say it here again. About 50% of Linux users have switched to get away from the big corps, to get away from the, the big data-hungry companies like Microsoft and Google and Facebook and slash Meta. They've done it specifically for that. The other half has switched to Linux because it is a good development platform, giving a wide range of uses, a wide range of development options, and some fun aspects to go with the system itself. And so half of our Linux users are immediately turned off by the fact you want to Im implicitly trust Microsoft and Meta with packaging software free of spyware when they switch to Linux to get away from those companies' spyware to begin with. All right, and the fact that the Snap distribution method is proprietary is certainly a problem for a lot of people. I think that if they simply opened up the Snap, that would cover most of the uh, most of the issues that people have and would probably go a long way towards goodwill in the Linux community. But that being said, it does sound like in the final iteration, when the Ubuntu 23.10 is finally released, we are going to have a Snap Store primarily that will push Snap versions of apps. And if there is a Snap and a repository version, we will not have the repository version. But if there is only a repository version and not a Snap version, you will be offered the repository version instead. That is what it sounds like their ultimate goal is to me. So people are saying, oh, they just haven't turned on the dev support. I don't think that's entirely true. And for the people who say this is only going to be pure snaps and nothing else, 
Nor do I think that that is true, unless, of course, you are on that immutable Linux um, uh, Ubuntu uh, build. So those are kind of my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about this down below. And as soon as I get a chance, I'll either wait for the full official beta or maybe I'll wait for the 2310 release to look at it. There's a few other distros I want to look at uh, coming up soon as well. And some of them I already have downloaded. So that's a good thing. But let me know your thoughts about all this. Which direction do you think they're going to go? And do you use Ubuntu or not? And and what are your thoughts about the whole article and the uh, kind of missing thoughts about what the engineer's um, ultimate goal is? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.